The British Museum and its ownership of some of its most famous objects originating from other countries has remained a subject of international controversy and now the United Kingdom is seeking ways to correct that by returning some of the artifacts. But does this mean a return of Elgin marbles to Greece and India's Kohinoor diamonds? Honiman Museum, located in South London, said it would return 72 artifacts to the Nigerian government, including 12 brass plaques known as Benin bronzes, which were looted from Benin City by British soldiers in, in 1897. Created from brass and bronze in once mighty kingdom of Benin in what is now southwestern Nigeria, the Benin bronzes are among Africa's most culturally significant artifacts. They were seized along with thousands of other items in a British military incursion and ended up in museums in Europe and the United States. Nigeria's National Commission for Museums and Monuments welcomed the decision and are looking forward to discussing loan agreements and collaborations with the Honiman Museum. But this is not the only controversial artifact in the British Museum with which authorities are trying to reach an agreement with the originating country. The deputy director of the British Museum has called for a Parthenon partnership with Greece, which could see the contentious Elgin marbles return to Athens after more than 200 years. The 17-figure sculptures and part of a frieze that decorated the 2,500-year-old Parthenon temple on the Acropolis were taken by Lord Elgin in the early 19th century when he was the British ambassador to the Ottoman Empire and have since been the subject of a long-running dispute over where they should be displayed. The Greek Prime Minister has called for the return of the Parthenon marbles to Greece on many occasions, even offering to loan some of his country's other treasures to the British Museum in exchange. India has lost several significant national artifacts first under British colonial rule and then through smuggling activities. The most prominent one is the 105.6 carat Kohinoor diamond which is attached to the front cross of the British crown. In the past, Indian government has appealed to return the stolen artifacts, to which the United Kingdom Foreign and Commonwealth Office said that the British Museum Act 1963 prevents their national museums from removing items and the government has no plans to change the law. In September 2021, Indian Prime Minister Modi was credited with bringing back 157 Indian artifacts which were handed to him during his visit to the United States. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.